PC Crash 9.2 has a new ability to import your own multibody shapes to use for the vehicle multibody, which is used in rollovers. And it also allows you to enable contacts between multibody objects and the multibody shapes comprising the rollover model for the vehicle. So what you see here is a uh, multibody vehicle that uh, I built and uh, brought in uh, uh, to, a, to a vehicle. Uh, I'll show you how you can do this. I'm just going to close this one. All right, so your typical multi-body shape. This is uh, one that you know I've tuned to kind of try and match the shape of this vehicle. Uh, but you can see that you can't do things like match uh, hood profiles and windshields and, and this sort of thing. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to import your own shape. So you can do that now. Editing multibodies is not the most simple thing, but what I've done is brought in uh, a 3D DXF shape, one of those shrink wrap ones, to match my vehicle shape, made it transparent, and made a whole bunch of multibodies to try and match the shape of the vehicle. So you can see there's lots of detail there. And these are just shapes that I've chosen. Uh, I made some different system colors so I can move these things around. But each of these shapes has its own editable properties for uh, stiffness and restitution and contact friction. So I just all did all this with the multibody editor. You can see it all can be changed as I like. I can set each body's properties however I want it. And then I just exported this multi-body shape using the custom vehicle export. I just give it whatever name I want with the uh, mbdef extension. And then that creates this file over here. I've got, I've created one called generic SUV full. And if we just bring back our PC crash run. And then it's just a drag and drop. You can see how I got the little uh, cursor there. And now when I run my simulation, I get that complex multi-body shape. You can see I've probably put this thing a little, it's not quite registered right on the vehicle here. I should probably shift that shape back for the CG a little bit. But now this is the, the contact shape that's going to be used for the rollovers. So I no longer have the constraint about uh, the front of the hood and the back the trunk being at the same height. I can do whatever I want and I can do each element can have its own stiffness and its own uh, friction. Now, let's say that I want to do that file I had before there. So I want to start from this point. I'm just going to say uh, new simulation start position. No, nope, don't want to move it. And I want to bring in a multi-body pedestrian. So I'm just going to go down to pedestrians here, bring in the pedestrian right there. There he is. So I want to move him a little closer. Get my tow truck. And then if I go to my multi-body system properties, in my settings tab, there's a new vehicle ellipsoid contact option. And that lets me step down my time step here a little bit, just in case. And you can see that the contacts are now calculated with the body. Now, I should tune the stiffness of each of these elements. But now the multi-body 
each element can have its own appropriate stiffness rather than assuming that the stiffness of the pedestrian uh, encapsulates, encapsulates the compliance of the entire system. So it used to be that a, a or it is still with a DXF vehicle that you would have stiff uh, or rigid windshield and so the head would have to uh, be softened to encomp compensate for that, uh, that stiffness. Now you can have a softer windshield element like I have here so the head penetrates the windshield like that. So that opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities uh, for analysis. That's the multi-body uh, vehicle shapes in PC Crash 9.2.